So today I was going to do a quick video on how to use a controller on PC for Call of Duty World at War in 2022. So first things first, I would say it's best to have an Xbox controller. They're just more compatible with PCs most of the time. Um, and then if you can get a wired controller, that's really easy to hook up through a USB port. So that's good too. The other option is you basically can use, I think, like any Xbox controller that's fairly new you may even be able to go all the way back to a 360 controller it's just that to connect you're going to want to get a bluetooth device that goes in the usb port um that gives you a strong connection as opposed to a pretty crappy connection if you don't have that so that's an xbox product and i think i got mine for about 20 dollars a while back but it's definitely worth it to be able to use a wireless xbox controller from there um, here we go. We're going to go into options and then we're going to go into game options. We need to make sure that we have console enabled. So enable console needs to be checked. Yes. Then if we go back we go to the menus, let's load something up. Let's go Nazi zombies on Doris. Once we get into the game, we can open our console by pressing the tilde, which is the button below the escape key. And we can also pause while we're doing this. Um, and then we're going to type in the command EXEC space default underscore controller dot CFG, which stands for config. And then we're going to press enter. Once that's in, the next thing we can do here in the console is set our sensitivity. Now you can set it anywhere from 0 0.0001 to five. I play on three and I think that's tends to be right around the level that most people usually do. If not, maybe a little bit lower. So as you can see, it's there. I'm going to leave mine, but you could continue typing it and then you could set that number between right above zero to five to figure out which one you like the most. Now, there's one key, and just press enter to obviously get it, it to um, execute it and have it saved. Now, there's one key point here that I think is very important that confused me. For the longest time, I thought I wasn't getting my controller to work on the game because when I was in the menu, I flick my stick around and it doesn't do anything. Well, that's not exactly true. Key here to hit get back into the game and then as you can see I can move around aim everything in the game I can pause on the controller but I can't navigate the menus I can only resume the game and pause the game so that's just one other key to note um, with that out of the way I think the only other thing that's fairly important for a controller user is that you can go into options and then you can go into controls and when you go in here, you can see all these keys that you have normally, or like this, but now you have buttons connected. So say I wanted to change my jump button for some reason, I could press that, and then I'm going to press A, and that's how you can edit your buttons in Call of Duty World at War for your controller as well. So with that all being said, I hope this was helpful to you. Have a good one.